YouTube! What's up? What's down? What is all around? What is good? And it's your boy Groovy Grizzly here back with another video. Man, it has been quite some time since I've made an arc on video. Since I made a YouTube video in general. Man, I tell you, making YouTube video, YouTube content for me is just not easy. Editing takes so long and I just didn't have the time anymore, but I'm trying to prioritize some time. Hey, don't expect a lot from your boy, okay? I'm going to try to post them out as much as I can, uh, as often as I can. Hopefully, at least two, three times a week, I hope, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but this is the first video in a very long time, so hey, make sure you smash that like button, and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this one, it'll help your boy out a lot, it keeps me motivated, baby, yeah, look at this face, look at this face, that's the face of motivation, mm. anyway, this is back to our island series, our story mode series, we're trying to complete and beat the game before R2 comes out, and the way I'm forcing myself to do that is by also making videos out of it, it's gonna hopefully allow me to stay consistent with the videos I'm making yada 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 because I want to play this I want to finish the game but I also want to make sure that I get the content out of it done so that way I don't waste any time or footage on just BS you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying anyways as you can tell things are a little bit different not a lot though I have played the game very slightly off stream all I literally did was I took my dinos from hold on let me fly way up here I took my dinos from over there where you see that little ledge, that little hill all the way over there. I took my dinos and a lot of my stuff from over there. The building is still there. The house is still there. And that little shed is still there. I left it all there. And I decided to move everything over here. The reason why is because there's a lot more space for me to build on this little platform here. And it's relatively flat enough for me to make some huge expansions, which I wouldn't be able to do over there on that side of the map. Also... Y'all may recognize this. This is the peninsula right here in the Ark. This spot right here is a phenomenal area to be able to breed some uh, underwater creatures and to be able to tame them as well if they're nearby or anything like that. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. So here's the plan for what I'm going to do here. So, so far, the only thing I've built here off stream was just this little shed. I didn't see the point in recording it. I built this very simple little shed area. All there is in here is just some storage. I moved my forges in here, my smithy, and that's pretty much it. I was gonna live on the top part until I finished building the wall in my house here, but I decided not to. I'm just gonna leave it like that so that way I can fly in here with the RGs with no problem and put things away. I moved every dino over here. We got Rock's Daddy over here. We got Ankilo over here. We got Maximus over here. And of course, we got a nice sign of our new location, our new home, saying, Welcome to Pollo del Peninsula. I don't know why I decided to call it Pollo del Peninsula. I just think that's funny. I don't know why, but I did it. Pollo means chicken in Spanish, by the way, in case you didn't know. So it's chicken of the peninsula or the peninsula. Chicken the peninsula. I don't know. Peninsula the chicken. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It sounds fucking awesome, okay? All right, so this is the plan that we're going to do for this area. So starting over here, right where this little hill is, we're going to build a tower going straight up. So I'm going to be four to five stories high. And then we're going to have a wall that's going to build from here all the way across this way. Now, I'm aware that dinos can easily just fall into my little area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build spike walls going all the way across to here. Then we'll have another wall going from, from back there, right where that drop off is, all the way across to this stone right here. And then we're gonna loop around this street and then we're gonna come straight across this way. We're gonna have another wall going all the way through the bottom, connecting all the way up to this stone boulder right over here. And it's gonna close off this bottom section. Eventually, once I have everything built, this little storage area is probably, I don't know yet, but it's probably gonna turn into a little dino pen area. So I'm gonna take the storage boxes out of there. I'm gonna take this little, I don't know, railway out of the way. We're gonna put some pillars up. We're gonna open this up and it's gonna lead to like a, a catwalk or a walkway all the way down here. And then we're gonna zigzag all the way down this hill like with some steps. So that way we can easily get down here without any dinos or anything like that. We can just run down the hill. And then over on this side, where originally the tower is, which would be right over here, we're just going to have a wall going straight across to this section right here, somewhere to the middle of the water, probably somewhere around here. And then boom. And then maybe we'll close it off with some... Um, sorry, I kind of ch choked on water for a second. <laughs> 
Then we're gonna have, we're gonna have some behemoth gateways going all the way across so we can finish closing this off. Maybe I'm not entirely sure on that one yet. We might just leave it open. We'll see. We got big, big, big plans. So a lot of the building that I'm gonna do, especially for the wall section of this, is gonna be either off stream or just not recording. I'm not gonna show the whole thing because that's boring as hell. So there's no point in me doing that. But first, before we even start to do something like that, we need to go out and get ourselves a nice, fat, juicy, 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 thick beaver. That's what we need. We need a beaver so we can get a shit ton of wood because we're going to need a shit ton of wood to build all of these things that we need to build. So I guess that's what this episode is going to be. It's going to be me. Grabbing the beaver and then probably why does my character look at him? He's like, hey y'all, what's up? Hi, me and my Argentine. Hi. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go get ourselves a beaver and then we're gonna start working on the tame uh, or not start working on, but we're gonna tame the beaver. And then after we tame the beaver, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the wall. And then we're just going to build a wall off of, uh, I said stream, sorry, not stream, but off the recording, off of the video or whatever. And then when we get back next episode, you'll be able to hopefully see the entire wall in its entirety. It will look fucking epic, baby. But yeah, so now I'm going to go look for a beaver. This is probably going to take me a long time because, um, well, I, I got to look and see where they are because I can't quite remember. I know a couple spots, but I also know I want a high level one. So once I find them, I'll go ahead and come back and I'll show you guys how the job is done. We're going to take care of business. You know what I mean? And by take care of business, I mean, I'm going to show you how to tame them. All right. It's not that hard, though. All right. See you in a little bit. I'm going to get this drop first, though. Never mind. There's an alpha car over there. All right. So I looked around a little bit. I didn't find any like really good astrosoids. I found a like, level 85, but that's just not good enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go look for a mammoth. I'm going to leave Uncle John here. I've been looking for about an hour, hour and a half real time. So I'm just going to leave him here. And then I'm going to go take Penny, who somehow landed over here. And I'm going to go get a mammoth instead. Because mammoths are actually really good at gathering wood as well. And they actually have a better weight reduction on weight gathering. Also, while I was out and about, I did find a couple drops. So I did went ahead and grab, uh, see, these right here I found inside of drops. So I got a grenade. I got a Arino saddle, Ariano, Arino, Arino saddle, which is useless. I found a really good chitin leggings though, which is really awesome. I found a good Sarko saddle, uh, Ramshackle, Patchy Rhinosaurus, which I'll probably never use, and a Galley Mima saddle blueprint. And then I found a blueprint for a silencer and a scope. These here were something that I got from when I killed in Alpha off um, before I started recording, and I also did get this apprentice uh, pickaxe from a alpha raptor as well also if you look and you pay attention if you go back to the previous episode i had my level is actually lower than it was before the reason was because i changed my settings around i went from single player settings and now i'm just using regular settings without the single player box checked off and i had to adjust a lot of the settings to make it the exact same as it was before but just not with the single player settings checked on so I had to use a mind wipe tonic. That's why a lot of my blueprints aren't learned anymore because the game will somehow lock you in at the level that you're in and it won't let you go any further past the level that you're at. So I just went ahead and took a mind wipe tonic and then it just redressed or regressed. I'm sorry, regressed, dang it. My level to level 74. And then I just distributed a couple of my points and we're kind of back to where we were before. So yeah, so let's go find ourselves that mammoth. I'm gonna take Penny instead because regardless, there's no point in me taking an RG because you can't carry a mammoth with an RG. So it doesn't even matter. Actually, before I leave, I should also go ahead and make a mammoth saddle. So I'm gonna make a mammoth saddle. I'm gonna go find myself a high level mammoth and then we'll be right back working all over again, baby. See y'all in us. Wow, that's uh, that's great. Uh, nice zoom in there. Um, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so after searching for, I don't know, forever, even finding mammoths, because there's so many mammoths and they're still hard to find a really good high level one. I finally found one right here. This beauty, oh, that's not the one. Where's the one? Over here. There she blows. Level 145 female, perfect level. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
I'm going to try to get her in this corner here and uh, try to knock her out. Let me see. Make sure there's nothing else around us. There's a lot of UDs and stuff around here. So I want to make sure that I don't get caught from behind. You pull out my long neck. That's not my long neck. And pop her a few times. Let's see what we can do here. It's probably going to take a while. We'll see how this goes, baby. Got her. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice. All right. And she's in a pretty safe spot. So I don't think I have a whole lot to worry about right over here. She's up on a hill, kind of. It looks like the other elephant kind of took out that sucker over there. Sweet. So these creatures, I believe they are herbivores. I know they're not carnivores, but they're herbivores. So I'm pretty sure they eat mijo berries. So we're going to get ourselves some mijos real quick. Um, we need to clear out this area probably a little bit. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll just kind of leave it where it is. Let's go get some mijos real fast. I think there's some bushes right over here. Here we go. Boom. Sure nothing jumps on us from behind. Put this away. Let's grab some mijo berries. Mijo berries. Let's see, right over here is another bush. Another one over here, another one over here, another one here. Okay, they're all down there, so that's good. Another one here. Maybe the Mijos, all oh, the Mijos, baby. Some steaks. Medium rare, just how I like it. There's another bush here. Right. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to wake up. I only got 15 Mijos, though. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's go get some more real quick. So I think we're good. Oh, there we go. He's fighting that thing now. All right. 1v1. Let's see who's going to win. I got money on the UD. Or on the... I got money on the Mammoth. Oh, yeah. The Mammoth's got him. Look at this. Look at this. Get him, baby. Look at that big, sexy thing. That's right. Show him who's boss. What level? What level is that, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, that dire wolf is 130. Ooh, that could be danger. That could be dangerous right there. All right, we're gonna leave him over there. I'm gonna grab some more, some more berries over here. I need the berries. I need as many as I can get. Kind of sucks because these bushes don't last long at all. Like at all. Like they just kind of disappear really, really fast, which kind of sucks, but. All right, I think we'll just make do with this for now. All right, it looks like he doesn't get knocked out very fast. We're just going to throw that Mijo in there. See what that does. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't need any narcotics, which is nice. I'm going to throw that in there. Yeah, I think we're good. We got plenty of Mijos left in him still. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the saddle in him. He's got 51 left to go. I mean, we're, we're sad. We're Gucci. I think we're Gucci here. I am going to sit in front of him, though, because I want to make sure that nothing comes up on him from the front. There could be definitely things coming up from the top there. Because I see, yeah, I see a dire bear up there. Oh, man. I hope they don't come down here. If they come down here, it's going to be really, 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 really bad. Because then it's going to mess up my taming effectiveness. But hopefully we'll be okay. There's a couple mammoths in front of us. So if anything tries to come up this way, they're going to fight them. So I think we'll be okay. And I don't think that they're just going to purposely jump down here. They don't have a reason to. They're not close enough to me to aggro. So I think we'll be okay. So we're going to tame up this mammoth. We're going to wait for him to wake up. And then once he's up and about, we're going to get on him. And we're going to do some damage, baby. Some damage. Some damage. What a beauty, man. What a beauty. Ah, uh, fucking god damn it. I wasn't recording it because I didn't think nothing was going to happen, but... Fucking wolves came from down there because of a stupid RG. The RG aggroed the wolves, and then they chased it and went down the hill. And then instead of coming after me, they went after the mammoth. And now the mammoth is down 45.3% effectiveness. So I'm just going to leave him here. I'm going to let him wake up on his own. God dang it, man. That really sucks. Uh, but I got them killed. So now I have to wait till he wakes up again, knock him back out, and then just do the whole thing all over again, dude. This sucks, man. Uh, they don't even have anything good either. Fucking 
Garbage ass. Mother Alright, I'll see y'all whenever he wakes back up, I guess. So I'm out trying to find another mammoth while the other one tries to wake up. And while I'm out looking for it, man, I found some juicy stuff in these drops. So I just found this sword, which is awesome. A 322.2 damage ascendant sword on a purple drop that had a ring around it. I am so happy about that. And then I also got a uh, Mastercraft Pterodon saddle, which I definitely plan on making to put it on this bad boy. And I got a Spino saddle, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome because we have a really good Spino that I plan on using. So I'm excited about that. And then uh, Megalosaurus, uh, Megalosaurus, Megalosaurus so ra 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 saddle, which I won't use now, but I may take with me to aberrations whenever I get done with the island. So this is really, really good stuff. I found a level 110 mammoth, but I haven't found anything higher. Oh, 120 in a 20 i really want another 140 plus if i can find it so i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna keep trying get some water first though is that a unicorn oh my god it's a unicorn <gasps> no way i found the one unicorn on this map dude he's a level 20 though i don't want to tame him and he's probably about to die Dang, man. That's awesome. Wow. Too bad he's a level 20. If he was a higher level, I'll try to tame him. All right, so I've been looking. I haven't really found anything crazy good, but I found this level 120 male mammoth, and I really want a male mammoth, so I'm going to tame this sucker right here. I'm going to try to get him over here uh, close to the edge, so that way um, I don't have to worry about too many things down there. There's RGs and stuff down there, and I don't want to get attacked by them. We're just going to try to bring him over here towards this corner. Oh, it looks like he's stuck. Even better. Should take about nine Trank Darts to knock him out, I believe. I missed that? Really? What's happening here? How am I missing these shots? There you go. I didn't miss that one. The heck and he's out very nice all right let's hope that this will do the trick all right and the reason why i wanted a male is because i got the perfect name for it already mapped out in my head and i'm hoping that this one will have really good weight. What's the weight on this sucker right here? 650. Not nearly as good as the female, but it is what it is. We'll 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 make it do for now. All right, we're going to wait for him to team up, and then we'll be, we'll be back. All right, and he's awake. Let's go. Hey, I got perfect name for him. Duralius. Let's go. Of course... If you uh, watch Neebs Gaming, if you watch their ARC series, you have heard, I know you have heard of the Space Mammoth, which is the Rallyus Mammoth, uh, the, the song that he came out for, the, well, I don't know if he came out for it, but the song that he sung for the Mammoth that is out in space because there's nothing out of place there the mammoth out in space space mammoth let's get him in the light let's get him in the light let's look at this beauty oh my god i hate this bird i hate this bird with all my fucking heart look at this thing all right i need you to i need you to relax buddy all right Let's get you uh, behavior. Let's do follow distance. Where's the follow distance? Um, follow distance. Let's change that to high. So that way he's not up on my ass. All right. 
So the cool thing about the Mammoth is they get 75% weight reduction. Also, before we go anywhere, I did look into what the Mammoth stats were whenever he was knocked out. And unfortunately, all his stats are absolute shit. Most of the points went into food and oxygen because that's my luck. Every single time I try to tame anything, that's exactly where the points go into. And it freaking sucks, man. But it is what it is. We got a Mammoth now, so it's fine. We're going to go ahead and knock out some trees and we're going to see what kind of work he can put in. 58 wood. That's not bad. That's not bad. I feel like I probably would have just been better off with my axe, but whatever. Now we have a mammoth. So they're really good at gathering thatch. I think they're the best get thatch gatherer, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm right about that or not. But I think they are the best thatch gatherer. And they have an amazing weight reduction when it comes to wood of 75%, which is the highest in the game. So that's why I wanted to tame them because they can carry a ton of weight. Unfortunately, it's going to take longer for me to gather the wood because I can't put as many points into damage like I would like to. But this is okay. It'll work out. It'll be A-OK. -okay. So we're going to gather some wood. We're going to run all the way back home. We have a long road ahead of us. We have a lot of things to probably fight along the way. We're going to smash some of these. Oh, wow. There's a lot of dire wolves over here. This is not good. We might die, actually, on the way home. There's like five of them down there. There's five of them up here. This is not good. Oh, my God. Okay. Man, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Let's see what level these guys are. 40, 75, 25, and 5. We, we might be able to... This is bad. This is such a horrible place to be, too. Man. Okay. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. At least he's got a badass knockback attack, which is very helpful. Man, I hope he doesn't die. All right, we got one Carno down, several more to go. I'm in the middle of the air for some reason. I can't do anything. I'm kind of stuck here. And now he's terrified. He's not responding to my commands because he's running. This is not good. The good thing is he's got a lot of health, so apparently. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Time to wake up. We almost got him dead here. Come on, pussy. Come on, pussy. There you go. That's going to allow me to, I think, do more damage. I'm not entirely sure. I keep getting stuck underneath them, which is kind of annoying. What does this do? I don't know. 131 with that one. Let's see what this one does. Doesn't do anything. I don't know what that attack does. He's just knocking me back for days, bro. There we go. Now we got the advantage. There we go. There we go. We got some advantage here. Now we just sit here and pound him. Hopefully it works out pretty well he's almost dead i can see he's bloody and he's down let's go we got to drop a ton of berries though we have so many berries on us right now let's drop all of those and let's see what else we got on us all right we got a ud heart we got all kinds of stuff we got some trink arrows some regular arrows let's get rid of some of this other primitive stuff that we won't need it's all trash to me get rid of these as well awesome Hey, not too bad. And he actually didn't take that much damage. So he's got a good health pool. He doesn't take a whole lot of damage, which is nice. So not too bad. Not too good either, though. Not too good either. But all right, we're going to make our trek all the way back. He's really loud. It's really hard to hear. I can't hear myself think this dang thing is so loud. But we're going to make all the way back home. We're going to gather some wood along the way. I'm going to try to avoid fighting anything as much as I can. And then I'll see you guys when I get back to base and we can start working on that wall, baby. Let's get it. All right, so check it out. So uh, we're pretty we're pretty good bits away still from, from home base. 
But I saw this Alpha Carno over here. It's a level 10, it's not very strong, so I'm pretty sure the elephant can take it. And I just kind of to see, I wanted to see how well it works against it. Oh, there's a T-Rex over there. A tech T-Rex, level 12, garbage. What's the other one? There's two of them. Is there two tech ones? Oh, the other one's 102, nice. Easy work for them, for me though, if they come over here. Okay, maybe I should go ahead and take care of them first before I take care of the Alpha. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's pull them. Try to get them over here. Come on, boys. Come get my flesh and bones. Come on. Get over here. Leave that. Leave that iguana down alone, you silly bastards. Come on. I'm right here. Look. I'm literally just taunting you with arrows. Come on. Just taunting you with arrows. Come on, boys. There we go. Yeah, give me that nice roar. Give me plenty of time to get over here and smack your face in. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I do love the blue one. The blue one looks really good. Looks really good. This is going to be a good bit of metal for me, too. Nice. Nice. Make sure my pterodons over there are good. Look at that. 347 damage. I have leveled them up pretty good, though, so far. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. What you got? What you got? What you got? You can't hang with the Rallius. He's too dangerous for you, baby. He's too dangerous for you. What level is this guy, actually? Oh, no way! Oh, we're getting this. Oh, I missed. I thought he's gonna keep... I thought he's gonna keep coming at me. Let's see. Did I not knock you out? One, two, three, four. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Be careful. There we go. I don't want you to hit the other guy. Scared me. Scared me. All right, I need some meat. Uh, I think I probably have meat on my pterodon over here. Let's see. I should have some meat on him. Uh, we have one meat on him. That's not good. Um, okay. How long before you wake up, buddy? Oh, you don't take long at all to wake up. Uh, let's see if we can find something to kill that isn't a parasaur. Uh... Uh, crap. Well. Let me see if I can make this shot. There we go. He's probably not going to come at me, though, unfortunately. Come get me. I don't think that's going to go anywhere near it. Come on, big boy. No. Okay, we're going to have to go over there, I guess. And fight him. Fight him with our bare hands. S very slowly walk over there so we can get some prime meat. Come on, big boy. Come get me. Come and get me. There we go. I didn't want to kill the other guy, so. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Oh, easy work. This knockback ability is just too dang, it's just too damn powerful. Way too powerful. You can't hang with that. Let's go. Let's get uh, some prime meat here. Get off of me. Here, and we'll go ahead and grab some regular meat too while we're at it. There we go. That's good enough. All right. Very nice, very nice. He didn't steal anything from me, did he? No, he did not. All right, cool. And let's hope we get back over there before he wakes up. Come on, come this way, come this way. Get up! Will you fly away? Stop getting hit. He's still far from waking up. Oh, we're good. We are good. Prime. All right, let's go, baby. Here, you can have this too, buddy. Oh, no. There we go. Awesome. What should we name him? What should we name him? Uh, let's name this guy. Options, change name. That's not how you spell holy. The Holy Trinity. How about that? All right, the Holy Trinity. Let's go. Actually... 
White stallion. Nah, I'm gonna save that for a horse. White. Instead of walker, white flyer. How about that? Nah, that's basic as hell. Um. Albino. Dino. How about that? And we'll call him Al for short. Let's go, Al. Sweet. Oh, get excited, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and harvest these uh, these uh, T-Rexes here real quick so we can take the metal with us. I'm going to move this guy really close so that way I don't have to be too concerned about... There we go. Uh, oh, no. Wrong button. All right. And throw these all inside of my guy. Let's pump up his weight a little bit more. Very nice. Very, very nice. So check it out. So this is where we're at so far. We brought the damage up to 723. We got weight up to almost 1,200. We got a ton of wood on us, so that's really good. And uh, that's pretty much all we've put points into. We haven't put any points into health, and we haven't put any points into literally anything else. Stamina, nothing. So just been weight and melee. Because all I'm going to use them for is harvesting. And so far, this is what I've killed. So I've killed more than this, but I've killed a couple T-Rexes. I just forgot to harvest them. I did kill two Spinos, and I've killed three of the uh, Allosauruses on the way. Along with, like, a there is two tip, I think one Therizino. And uh, a couple Carnos, but I was the only one that I was able to harvest anything from. Actually, I think you get that from the Alpha Carno, actually. So, yeah, let me go ahead and throw this out. And we're going to continue our trek all the way back home. Uh, which is still going to be a long journey, so I'll uh, probably kill a couple other things there, and I'll see you guys back at base. All right, guys, and we made it back. We're back to base. It took us forever. It took us about three days just tracking along this behemoth, this giant known as Duralius, while uh, Albino Dino just got the chill on my shoulder and uh, relaxed the entire trip. But yeah, guys, we're going to think, I think I'm just going to call it here. Uh, the video is just taking a lot longer than I expected, which is okay. You know what I mean? I think it was an eventful episode. We got ourselves two really good... Oh, excuse you. We got two really good teams. We got ourselves Albino Dino and, of course, Duralius, our space mama. <laughs> which is awesome. So I think, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and call it here. I think on the next episode, I'm going to... I'm going to start building up the wall and get you a little glimpse of that a little bit. And I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, I might do another artifact cave and get that going. Maybe I'll take the saber tooth on the next uh, artifact dive, if you will. But yeah, guys, hey, don't forget, if you've been enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the episode, if you're glad to see some more art content on this channel, please make sure you hit that like button to let me know that you are enjoying what you're seeing. And if you've watched this whole entire thing and you haven't hit that subscribe button, what you waiting for, baby? Hit the sub! Hit the sub! And make a di dino very, very happy. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. Just look at him. Just look at him. You know what I mean? Do you want to bring joy to his life? Just hit that sub button. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Awesome, guys. Well, hey, I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a kick-ass rest of your night, of whatever it is you're doing tonight, or this morning, whatever it is. If it's morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you, I hope it's kick-ass. I hope it's awesome. And I'll see you guys next time right here in the arc, baby. Bang, bang. Shitty, shitty. Shitty, shitty. Shitty, shitty. Bang, bang. Yeah, yeah.